back with another video today. Today we're going to be talking about cheat meals, right? Cheat meals are like a very, it's a very sensitive topic amongst um, fitness influencers. Um, or not fitness influencers, I'd say. I, I would say like against, um, it's a very sensitive topic amongst gym rats, right? On one hand, you have people who say, you know, Cheat meals are bad. You don't need cheat meals. Stay disciplined. You just need to eat your foods and, you know, your diet. And that's how you're going to make gains. On the other hand, you have people who are more, like, relaxed. Who are like, oh, kind of do whatever you want. Enjoy yourself. You don't have to be so strict and stuff like that. So today we're going to be talking about all of it. So as you guys see, I'm currently eating five guys. Um, I have... Uh, two double patty burgers. One's a grilled cheese. The other one's a normal bacon burger. Um, I've already finished one. I'm on to my second one right now. Um, now, some of you who've been following me for a long time, you all know that I'm a, I am a bodybuilder. Um, I'm very big into, you know, dieting. I'm very big into, you know, training hard and taking care of your body and everything like that. So, some of you might be asking, well, why are you having a cheat meal? Right. Well, the thing is, cheat meals are not horrible, right? Cheat meals are whatever you make them to be. Now, that doesn't mean you should go out and go eat McDonald's, go eat pizza, things of that nature, right? But indulge in certain foods a little bit, right? Uh, it's Five Guys. Five Guys isn't as bad as a McDonald's. It's not as bad as a, you know, a KFC or a Popeye's or anything like that. It's a pretty well put together homemade burger right something i could make by myself but i just chose to go out and buy it um so what's important is you're getting your calories you're getting your protein your fats your carbs everything right so for me i just came off of a eight hour fasting and this is my first meal of the day it's currently 4 p.m um, and this is my first meal, and then, well, two meals, and then I have two protein shakes to have today, and then I'm pretty much done. So, what's important when you're having a cheat meal is that you're making sure the carbs, fats, and proteins fit within your macros. Now, it doesn't mean it has to be exact number, you know, pinpoint to the T, but it's important that they align correctly with your macros you can be over a couple right so then you know you get and it's maybe five ten grams over your protein goal then it's like okay that's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna make you fat right you want to look at the fats now if the fats are about 20 30 grams more fat then it's like okay that's something to reconsider the same thing with carbs if it's blowing your carbs you know, daily carbs out the wind And that's the most important thing when it comes to having cheat meals. You have to find that middle ground. So, going back to it, um, cheat meals won't hurt you. They're not going to destroy your progress in the gym. Um, and more than anything, they might actually help you, right? Your body is getting like a, how would I say this, like a, a boost of, of a, I don't want to say energy, but um, things that you weren't eating already, right? Extra fats and carbs, things like that, that your body wasn't used to having, depending on what your diet is like. Right? And another thing to also think about, too, is that you don't have to limit your diet to rice and chicken, you know, uh, rice and ground beef. You can have whatever it is you want. Um, a favorite of my influencer will my favorite influencers, uh, Greg Doucette, talks about this a lot, and he always promotes it, is a cookbook, right? And so the purpose of that is, you know, you don't have to limit yourself to these bland foods. You can have whatever you want as long as they align with your goals or they align with, you know, your diet, your nutrition, your macros, micros, all that stuff, right? When they align, you technically have whatever. You can cook it. You know, I'd always prefer cooking something rather than buying something. But if time doesn't allow it, 
you could always just go on and, you know, get something like a Five Guys, you know, or a Chipotle or something like that. You know, you're not overindulging, but you're doing just enough to satisfy a craving. Because the worst thing to do is to hold yourself from not getting those cravings and then overindulging when you do actually plan on getting something. That's when it's a problem. Um, I'm a person, a firm believer in having discipline over yourself and controlling certain urges, but we are human. We are not robots. You know, a spell might trigger you, you know, sound, sight, something might trigger you to just say, fuck, I just have to have it, you know, and it happens. We're human. It's just important to know when to control those, you know, how to control those urges and everything. So when you have a taste for something, that doesn't mean just get it because I have a taste and then I'll be to overindulge later, but it's being aware of like, do I actually need it right now as bad as I want it? No, because you'll end up probably having something better. For example, I've had, I've, I've had like three or four different um, interests in food. Um, I've texted my coach about three or four times within the past week and a half with four different options of cheat meals, you know. Oh, can I have this? Oh, can I have that? And he's told me, you know, no. Or he's told me, like, gave me um, alternatives that I can have uh, if I were to, like, indulge in certain foods. So, for example, I wanted Panda Express. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to get orange chicken, shrimp fried rice, and, you know, the full nine yards. But he's like, white rice. Chicken with no sauce, broccoli. Well, essentially, that's a meal prep, right? So, you know, realizing that I didn't need it right there helped me understand that, you know, I can wait, right? It's not a necessity. It's not going to kill me, you know. And in the long run, it paid off because now here I am indulging in Five Guys. And I love Five Guys. I'd much rather have Five Guys over Panda Express, right? Two burgers on top of that, you know, and it's much, much better than, than Panda Express. I mean, it's bad, but not nearly as bad as what Panda Express would have done to my macros and everything. So for all of my gym rats out there who are suffering and battling themselves mentally, you know, with this whole food ordeal, remember the, you know, be, be patient with yourself. Don't beat yourself up. You know, mistakes happen. If you overindulge, hey, just get back to it the next day. You know, um, things happen. Cheat meals are not horrible for you. Um, enjoy life. You know, it's important to work hard, but when you're working, you work. When it comes to enjoying life, enjoy what it has to offer you. You know, if you want to go out and have one drink or one meal with a friend, go out and do it. You know, all this Alpha Sigma bullcrap, you know, in the long run, as long as you're staying on that path of trying to be better in the long run, missing that one meal is not going to change the outcome for you. It's not. So enjoy life. Enjoy foods occasionally. Enjoy drinks occasionally. Um, and just train hard. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Um, hope this video will help. Uh, you, please like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts and everything. If you guys like the content, then I can definitely do more like this. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next time for another lifting video. Uh, as always, stay strong, stay resilient, stay dedicated, and stay steady. Peace.